best ways to improve your PvP in EVE is to record your fights, your PvP fights, and then go back later and look at them and look for the errors you made, the mistakes you made, and for ways you could have done it differently to give yourself a better chance of winning. I've done this throughout my entire PvP career and it's made a huge difference for me and I know that several of my customers have done it as well and experienced really great results from being able to go back and watch their fights. So in the past I've always used Fraps which is a great program and I recommend it to everyone. Fraps uh, is simple, it's fast, it doesn't affect game performance hardly at all. The reason it doesn't affect game performance is because it doesn't encode, it doesn't compress the video while you're recording. It just spits out raw AVI which is huge and it will fill up your hard drive very fast. That's something I've had to struggle with over the years where Fraps would just fill up my hard drive, one hard drive after another. I actually had to go buy external hard drives just to hold all the video. So Fraps is fast. If you have a computer that has trouble running EVE Online or multiple accounts of EVE Online you don't want to use anything else really. You want to use Fraps because it doesn't encode the video as it goes. It just spits it out which takes very little processor or video card or anything like that. Now the next option which is free and which I've been using recently for longer videos that I would take way too much space if I did it with Fraps. So for really long videos where I record like a roam or a long fight or maybe a, a class or something when I need to record something long I've been using a program called Open Broadcaster Software. This software was actually designed as a streaming software for like Twitch so you could Twitch your Twitch stream your games and put them on Twitch and people could watch you and I do that from time to time and I do use this software to do that with but another feature it has is it can stream directly to your hard drive to an mp4 file and that's what I'm going to show you right now it's free it works well and any, as you'll see in the video after this in the example video the quality is really nice so first let's open it up then you can see here here's your basic screen you've got your start streaming your start recording now you're gonna have to go and do some learning on your own to completely understand this this is still beta software it still hasn't had an alpha release yet or a full release whatever it's called so what we have down here is how it records things I have an image there for my stream which is unimportant all you really need to do is add a game capture. So let me remove this and re-add it so you can see it. So load your game, get EVE running, then add a game capture. Call it what you want. And then select your character name out of here. EXE file. Oh, Kaloa. It's the character I've got up. Click OK. Now you don't see anything here yet. You can do this preview here. It'll show you the preview. I'm just going to show you my uh, image. i going to put it on top for it to show. So that's what I was using the last time I streamed. It's an overlay image. And you can also overlay windows. You can overlay like a chat window here. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. But for our cases, you don't need that. You're recording your gameplay. So I'm going to stop preview. Show you some more stuff. So next, we need to make it so you stream to MP4 and not FLV. FLV is a great format, but you're not going to want to stream to FLV. So your default is going to say FLV right there. To change it so that it puts uh, the video out in MP4 instead of FLV, that's just a container, it doesn't really matter. It's as easy as renaming it. So instead of FLV, MP4, click apply, and now you get MP4 video. What really matters is the codec, which is right there. The codec encodes the video as you go. So what it does is it compresses the video on the fly while you're playing the game. This is going to take some of your processor speed and possibly some of your video card. I'm not sure if it uses the video card or the processor. One way or another, it's going to require, it's going to suck some performance from your PC. But if you have a computer that was built in the last year or two, then you're not going to have any trouble running one, maybe two clients and this program at the same time. 
So you want to use X264. In my experience, that's the best codec I've come across. These are my settings. They're probably default. I don't think I changed them. You can change your bit rate. Uh, that just affects the basic quality of the video, but it, it's not too important. Stay default if you can. Over here is another important thing is the hotkeys. So your default for streaming is F9. That's the same records, record button for fraps is F9 to start, F9 to stop. So I couldn't use that here. So what I'd use for recording here is F8. So I may have fraps running at the same time as this program in some cases, but usually it would just be one. Even if I did, I could hit F8 to start the recording, F8 to stop the recording. So to change that, you just highlight it and push whatever you want it to be. Pretty easy. And then you can hit apply to make it stay. There's some other uh, hotkeys you could do, push to talk, um, mute the mic, stuff like that. If you want to mess with it, you can. I've had a little bit of trouble with audio, getting the microphone to record. My microphone jack uh, that I'm using right now works well, but my USB mic gives me a little bit of trouble with noise, and I haven't quite figured that out yet. Other than that, it's a really great program. Everything's cool. Um, it works really well, and uh, I highly recommend it to you, and I highly recommend you give it a try and you record your fights and see how fast your PvP improves as you record your fights.